Hello everybody and uh, welcome to my 13th Microsoft Excel 2013 tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use absolute referencing. Uh, this is going to be the last tutorial on doing simple kind of formulas and things like that. Uh, after this I'm going to just go and jump across into the colourful world of uh, formatting etc. Um, so, but before we do that I just want to go through absolute referencing and absolute referencing is one of the single kind of efficiency improving features of Excel uh, and not enough people know how to do absolute referencing so I wanted to get it in early in the tutorials uh, and I want everyone who watches this to kind of understand just how much of a difference they make when you're writing your formulas. Uh, what absolute referencing does, so if I just show you doing some formulas here, so I'm just going to do equals that one times the one above it. Uh, and I'm just going to make sure everything's set to general format. Uh, and if we just click and drag this formula down, so you'll already have seen from the previous tutorials or from using Excel itself, as you drag a formula down, it changes which cells it's referencing. So as we go down one, the, the references for the formula go down one. Uh, and although this is really useful, Sometimes this is not what you want to do and you'll see here that I'm just doing a quick multiplication table uh, and by the time you get to here is actually too much calculation for Excel to handle because it's trying to do like 10 times some kind of 10 times 10 times 10 10 10 10 10 10, 10. and it's just insane. Um, so quite often what we want, so here what I actually wanted was for these cells down here to be referencing that row uh, that this row up here and this column, I wanted to do me a kind of multiplication table. Uh, and what a lot of people I see do, uh, and it makes me cry a little bit inside every time I see them do it, is they'll literally retype the formula every time. So they'll go into here and they'll go equals b1 times by a3. And they'll go through it and they'll do all of the formulas and it's such a colossal waste of time because absolute referencing fixes all this for you. Essentially what you do is when you're in your formula, you highlight or just after you finish typing, so let's delete these and start again. Uh, so let's do equals B1. Now before we carry on, we can decide how, how we want this to be referenced, whether we want it to be rel relative referencing like it is at the moment, or whether we want it to be absolute referencing. And the way that we do this is we put dollar signs before either the B or the 1. Uh, if we put a dollar sign before the B, that means whenever we move our formula around, that B is never going to change. So if we move it across one, it's still going to say B. Uh, if we move it down one, it's still going to say B, although it would say B anyway. If we move it left one, it's still going to say B rather than A or C or D. Uh, so if we put a dollar sign here uh, and we drag this across, You'll see that it's literally just still referencing B1, but if we drag it down, it's going to go to B2, B3, B4, B5, because we haven't put a dollar sign before the number. Now, if we put a dollar sign before the number as well, then it's going to reference B1, and if we click and drag it down, so say we put it down here, then it's still going to say B1. So if you've got a particular cell that you always want to have as the answer, so say you've got some kind of conversion rate or something like that, then you put in both the dollar signs. So in this example, I want the this row here to stay the same. So I'm going to want a dollar over the one, uh, and then I want it always to be column A. So I'm going to want a dollar over the A. So if we do equals B1, and then I always want it to be one, so I put in a dollar there. Uh, and then we do times by A2. Uh, and I always want it to be A, so I put a dollar before the A. Uh, and now if I press enter, you'll see it's doing four by four. And then if I copy and paste this everywhere in my grid, then it's gonna do the multiplication table exactly as I wanted. So if we look in here, you'll see that it's referencing the top one and it's referencing the column A. Uh, and that is just a really powerful way of making sure that your formulas are really quick to write because you can click and drag them around, you can copy and paste them everywhere and if you've got your referencing right then you 
normally only need to write whatever write one formula uh the other thing to just note is i've probably been doing it the slow way you can actually just do equals select your cell that you want to do and then press f4 uh, and the first iteration of f4 puts dollars behind both of them the next iteration selects it so it's just one and then the next iteration does it so that it's the sticks on the column and then, and then pressing it again just turns it off so i want b1 with the dollar sign before the one uh, and then I want to do times A2 and then F4 again and pre keep pressing it until the dollar goes before the A. So that's just a slightly quicker way of setting it up. Uh, it has exactly the same effect, it's just a sneaky little shortcut. Um, and that's going to be it for this tutorial. Uh, the, make sure you, if you've got any kind of problems with it, just drop any questions in the comments below. Um, and I'll catch you in the next tutorial when I'm going to start going through formatting.